Plasma 6 is just around the corner, and I'm planning to do something that I haven't done in a while. I am going to change my environment and swap to Plasma 6. And this is going to be a fairly interesting experience for me because I've never actually daily driven a desktop environment. Yes, I have used Plasma in the past on the Steam Deck, but I haven't really used it extensively. I open a couple applications in desktop mode, I run a couple of commands, and basically I just full screen a window and then when I'm done, go back into game mode. And yes, I have played around a bit with GNOME on stream, but it's in a virtual machine, I'm not using it on my main system, and when I'm done with the stream, I just delete it. This will be the first time I actually run a desktop environment as the environment I use on my main system. Obviously, I'm not changing up my entire operating system and all of the applications I use. Most of what I use is going to be fairly familiar. I'm also just going to be using the Wayland version, so it's not like it's even a swap from X11 over to Wayland. But I still do have some concerns, and my major one is regarding my windowing workflow. Since the very first day I've been using Linux, I have been a tiling window manager user. I've used i3, BSPWM, Awesome WM, Sway. Right now I'm running Hyperland, and there's probably some others in there I didn't actually make videos on, but I might have tested a bit just you know, by myself. And while some of these do work in a slightly different way, like i3 being a manual tiler, I am very, very familiar with a tiling workflow. And I really like this workflow. And honestly, I kind of actively dislike a pure floating environment. If I have to go back and use Windows or Mac OS without any of the additional scripts that actually add some sort of tiling-like functionality to them, is not a pleasant experience for me. Now, I am aware that Plasma has gotten better in this regard. As of 5.27, they have their quick tiling feature, which is basically just configurable window snapping, which isn't a perfect solution. I kind of would like more of what Cosmic is doing, for example, but it should be enough to at least make the system usable for the most part. And Plasma does obviously have an API, that's how all these plugins exist in the first place, so I could probably write something that automates adding the windows into the layout and pretty much give me a tiling-like experience, even if it's not absolutely perfect. But it's not like I need to write something, it's just that might be kind of fun and I reckon I get a good video out of that. Because there are tiling scripts that do exist for Plasma. The landscape of these is a little bit weird though, so prior to 5.27, a lot of people to my understanding ran a thing called Bismuth and other users would run Cronkite. As of 5.27, there were some breaking changes in the API because of this quick tiling feature, so a lot of people now run a thing called Polonium, which forked off of another project called Kwin Autotile. And Polonium in its current state hasn't actually had any direct patches made to the repo, so it doesn't actually have support for Plasma 6. That's not to say that Plasma 6 support isn't being worked on, it's just not currently merged. This is a pull request where people are actually working on the issue. And if we go down all the way to the bottom, there is someone here who basically has it working. Not perfect, but working, and it should probably be merged soon. They did estimate a little bit back that it should be around here somewhere a week after the release of Plasma. But as I'll be on Plasma 6 on day one, that's not really going to affect me. And to be honest, at least for my first impressions, it probably makes sense not to be using that alongside basically any other plugin. I want to talk about what Plasma 6 is, not what I can turn Plasma 6 into. That can be a further video down the line, and I'll be sure to make that as well. But initially, I just want to talk about the things that the project has done, because once you start configuring it, it's no longer really just Plasma 6. It is your rice of Plasma 6, which has value as well and is probably also great. But it's not Plasma 6, and it's not what the out-of-box experience is going to be like. Whether I can make the native Plasma system work for me, or these tiling plugins work for me, is really going to make or break whether I actually like Plasma going forward. 
and whether or not I actually stick with it going into the future, because I'm not just going to ditch my Hyperland config. If I don't like it, I will be back on Plasma once I'm done making the videos. However, if I don't like it, it does make me a bit more excited about what's to come in the future with Cosmic by System76, which I will probably be trying out as well. Maybe I'll hop on the Alpha because there's probably going to be a package on Arch, but we'll see what happens when we get there. One thing I'm not particularly concerned about is default hotkeys because I have just come to the realization that my hotkey setup is my hotkey setup. And yes, it might be similar in some respects to the default on various window managers, but <laughs> for the most part, it is just cobbled together over multiple years of using Tylers, and it's exactly the way that I like it, and I don't expect anybody else to like it. So the second I open up Plasma, this is the one thing that's probably not going to be my first impressions because I know I'm just not going to like it anyway. I will probably spend an hour or so configuring the hotkeys exactly the way I like it. I might mention if there is a really weird binding, but I'm certainly not going to hold the rest of that against them. For a lot of the bindings, there'll be a one-to-one -one comparison, like opening a terminal or swapping workspaces, full screening a window, closing a window, things like that. In cases where there isn't a one-to-one, -one, like the quick tiling hotkey, which is meta T, I might end up rebinding those as well, just as something that fits with the general layout I use. Don't get me to explain the logic behind it, because I can't do that, because there isn't any, it just makes sense in my head. With all that being said, I wouldn't be swapping if it was nothing but negative concerns. I am really curious to see what the Whalen experience is like outside of WL Roots from a KWIN perspective, because you don't know, there's basically three main implementations of Wayland. Technically there's four, and technically there's five, or six, if you want to count Murr, Western, and Smithy, Smithy being what Cosmic is based on, but most users are either running something Mutter-based, which is GNOME, KWIN-based, which is KDE, or something WL Roots-based, which is Sway, DWL, River, Hyperland, all of the other little window managers, and some desktop environments are going in that direction as well. But my entire experience on Wayland has been WL Roots based. First Sway, and now Hyperland. Technically also Gamescope, which I guess brings us up to 7, but considering it's not a general compositor, that's kind of a special case. Both of these are are great projects, and Drew did a great job starting W Roots, Simon has done a great job continuing the project after Drew has left, all of the other developers on the project are doing great work, and not just in W Roots itself. All of the compositors that are making use of it, whether that's Sway, Hyperland, DWL, River, Wayfire, Hikari, or any of the others out there, all doing great work. But they're doing great work in a very different way to KDE. KDE is working on Plasma. Plasma is the KDE desktop. On the WL Root side, you have all of these great developers all doing their own separate thing. So I want to see what happens if you take all of that work and then centralize it in one location. Are we going to get a much better experience, or is it going to be about as good as what exists in the WL Root space? I don't know, and I'm very curious about it. Logically, it might make sense that Plasma is a more refined experience, but they also do a lot more things in the project, so maybe not. Maybe the extra work they do counterbalances just the extra developers they have. And I don't expect the experience to be perfect. I know it won't be perfect. They literally have an issue tracker that has bugs on it. There are going to be bugs, and that makes sense. And considering it is a new release, there is going to be bugs that didn't get picked up during beta testing and all of this early developer testing. But maybe it's going to be a less rough experience than what I currently have. Whilst I love Hyperland, and I think it is great in like 99 out of 100 cases, I am currently having a really annoying edge case issue regarding video capture and OBS. This is something that won't affect the majority of people. This is just a content creator specific issue, but I'm currently working through with Vaxfree some crash issues and there's progress being made. 
other users are starting to get involved as well, so there's more information coming in about the issue, and it seems like there might be multiple related issues all happening at once, so it's unclear exactly what the problem is. But it's getting resolved slowly, and at some point that problem is going to be gone. But my understanding is KWIN doesn't have any of those same related issues. If I use OBS to capture Windows or just capture my entire desktop, it just does that. And it just works, which is going to be a very, very different experience. At least different on Wayland. If I go back to X11, there were no problems with that. But since we're doing this portal thing now and implementations are not in a perfect state, yeah, you're going to run into some problems. And I'm also curious about going back to a more windows light configuration method. What I mean by this is as a tiling window manager user, I don't have all of these nice GUI configuration tools. There are things for certain things, like on X11, there is a render to configure your screens. I don't use it. I have an X render script that just does the things that I want it to do. But for certain things, it is nice to have integrated tools to do things. So I don't have to go and dig around for random commands, dig around on various forums to work out how to do something. I can just go to the settings menu and change a setting. That does sound kind of nice. It's going to be a bit different to interact with because I haven't used Windows in what? Like I've used it for like to connect to a printer that happened to be in a library, but actually running it on my system, probably about five or six years. The last time I used it, it was on Windows 10 and I just kind of got sick of it. This is not to say that I'm just going to drop all of my CLI tools and all of the tools that I've currently been using. I'm not going to install the entirety of KDE. I just want the Plasma desktop and I'm going to keep using the applications that I want to be using. But let me know, are you a Plasma user or someone who's maybe interested in the desktop that wants to see a video on a certain Plasma related topic? Feel free to let me know down below or if you have thoughts on Plasma 6 already, you've been messing around with the beta and you want to just give me an idea about what it's currently like, let me know that as well. I would love to hear it. So if you liked the video, go like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, subscribe, silly bear pay link in the description down below. That's going to be it for me and maybe one day I'll daily drive GNOME.